Hi guys, this is going to be a plan with me in my happy planner and this is the one that I use for um, YouTube and homeschooling which I kind of feel like I kind of feel like my homeschooling stuff is going to have to kind of change but I'm not really sure I haven't decided how yet so I don't know, I'll let you guys know I don't know if it's going to be another <laughs> yet another planner or a different planner or I mean I don't know I haven't decided yet but I'm just going to go ahead and get started with this. My hubby is actually in the shower, so he's probably going to come in here and wonder what the heck I'm doing. Why are you filming right now? I'm supposed to be doing something else <laughs> entirely, and I'm totally not. But um, I have not been feeling well, you guys, and I have been slacking on my videos this week. I haven't done my devotionals in a couple of days, and I'm so sorry for that, but I have been not well, and um, I'm, I'm getting much better, and I'm getting a handle on it, but... It has just been not fun. So, um, I'm okay. Don't worry. It's not anything to worry about. I'm, I'm okay, but um, I have just not been feeling well. So, because of that, it's been harder for me to, to film and keep up with things because I've been, you know, having to lay down and, and just not feeling good and just feeling pretty bad. Um, and there's just been a lot going on lately and I don't think that's been helping just a lot of things that I have to do and, and going on and it's been a little bit, I'm not going to lie, kind of overwhelming. And so I think that has just made it worse because stress always triggers my issues that I have. And so I think that, that it just has a lot to do with it. But, um, but it's okay because I'm, I am, like I said, I am getting better, I promise, promise, and I am doing better at, at keeping it under control. So I'm going to be just fine. It's not anything serious or anything to worry about. It, it's, it's okay. Um, I know some of my friends are so precious and sweet and they worry about me and I really do appreciate that. It's nice to have somebody worry over you sometimes, but I don't want to worry them in the least because I am totally okay and I just um I just have to kind of rework some things and and do some things differently than I have been and I'll be all right so this is beautiful paper that I'm in love with because duh it's vintage and it's like distressed and shabby and wonderful and I am just in love with it. And it's it's a six by six paper pad. I'll even show you the paper pad, but it, it comes out of this one. It's called Romance Novel, and I got this from Hobby Lobby, and it was five ninety nine. I used my forty percent off coupon, and it's just oh, it's beautiful. And I picked these papers out of it because some of them I don't even want to. It doesn't do it justice if you cut them up because they are just so gorgeous that yeah, and so. Um, I have been trying to pick some that I could cut up and it would do justice. Like the, it would actually do the page justice. So, cause there's a lot of cut aparts in there that you really just don't want to cut up. So um, with that being said, I think I hear my husband shutting off the, um, shower and he's going to be like, what are you doing in here? You're not supposed to be doing that. That's Anyways, he's going to roll his eyes at me and shake his head. I know he is, but that's okay because I really do need to get this done, and it's quiet, and that never happens. So if I only do plan with me's at nap time this week, I'm never going to get the ones that I am behind on caught up within the beginning of the week in time to plan my next plan with me's for next week. And I don't like to plan them too far behind because obviously I want to use my planner and I can't use it if the spread is not done. So I don't like to fall behind. But like I said, I just haven't felt well and I've just been feeling yucky and Killian has kept me awake a lot the past few days and it's just been, I've been very sleep deprived and I need to be better hydrated. I haven't been hydrating as well as I need to be. And that coupled with the amount of caffeine that I need to keep me awake <laughs> is just not good for the issues that I already have. My stomach pretty much hates my guts and I get migraines really, really easily. And all of that put together is just not 
what I have been doing is not really taking care of myself very well because I've been taking care of everyone else and not myself and y'all ladies know that we and this is upside down you ladies know that we sometimes do that as moms and sometimes it's necessary to take care of our families but we all need to sit back and realize that when enough is enough you need to say something and get help and not do too much you need to take care of yourself and my mom always tells me can't take care of yourself. I mean, you can't take care of your babies and your family if you don't take care of yourself. And that is true, but it's really hard. And it's not really advice that she took herself. So she didn't take care of herself. She took care of her babies first. And so maybe I just learned that from her. So I, um, I don't know. It's hard for me to let go. And it's very hard for me to ask for help and say, look, Seriously, I'm not kidding when I'm telling you I'm overwhelmed and frazzled. I'm being dead serious and I am going to buckle under the pressure. My, my physical body just cannot handle it anymore. It, it's telling me I need some help here. So that's kind of what's been happening. And I, um, I just need to take care of myself a little bit better and stay conscious of what my body's trying to tell me before the red lights start flashing so anyways that's depressing enough about that so this week I know is going to be the 4th of July week and this is 4th of July weekend this is actually Sunday I know super late that I'm filming this but um it is um I did a 4th of July spread in my other planner my main planner and um I definitely don't want to take away from that holiday because it's amazing and I'll, I'm going to actually do another 4th of July spread as well and I might even do a third because you know I have five planners but I didn't want to do a 4th of July spread in all five planners so <coughs> I fell to vintage because that's my love and yeah it's just the obvious choice right so let's see what we got here. I think I'm going to use this one at the top, actually, if I can find the end. Sometimes I just can't find the end. So so um, I'm putting some new things on my Etsy shop. And I'm excited because I actually completed my first huge chunky journal where I actually sewed in these signatures, which is so exciting for me because it's the very first time I've done it. Where in the world have I done with my washi cutter? Like, how do I possibly lose all my washi cutters so often? Like, how does that happen? I don't understand. Probably because my craft area is a complete and absolute disastrous mess, and I can't find anything. Hmm, where are you, my friend? Where are you? I do not know. I do not know. Is there something else I can use as my washi cutter? I mean, can I pretend it's my washi cutter for a little while? I have like three of them and I don't know where any of them are. I'm not so frustrating. Oh heavens. Ah, oh, there it is hiding under some scraps. I see you. I see you. It's a Walmart gift card. I don't know what. From Christmas. Okay, so there's this. I kind of want to keep this. I know I never do, but I kind of do. My husband is like hacking along. I hear him in there. Sounds t horrible. I think I might put some thin washi on my sidebar. I mean, my um, side here, too. 
ating kamay, ating kamay. Now he's shut the shower off. I can hear it. Okay. I like this polka dot because it is distressed, even though I really don't think it's intended to be that way. But for a little while there, when I first opened up this washi, this is washi that I got from Tuesday morning. And when I first opened it up, it was breaking apart and ripped in some places. And it might still be, I don't know. But I think we've gotten rid of some of the old product and now it's a little bit easier to deal with. But we'll see. All right, what am I gonna do with you? Let's see, Let's cover this up like I did on the other side. But I hope that you guys have fun plans. Um, Joshua is actually off on Fourth of July because they're closed, but he just doesn't get his regular off day, so that kind of sucks, and it's kind of good because at least he'll have some family time, and that's fun. But not fun because I will miss that off day, regular off day, and we're still having church on Wednesday, so that means I'll have no helper in my class, and I'll have all the boys with me by myself, and I don't really like that when that happens, not even gonna lie. I think he's walking in here like, is she talking to herself, or... Is that what you were thinking I was talking to myself? No, I'm recording something. Oh, he said I figured you were recording something. That would be correct. He said I know you by now. Really? Does he? <laughs> no, I said does he? I think he does. He really, he really does. He really does. It's true. I think I'm going to keep the pink. I kind of like it. And I kind of like this script. So, yes, I know. The one who always covers every single centimeter of the paper is actually probably going to leave it this time. I think I like it. I don't know. Something about it. This black is doing it for me. It's good stuff here. So... See what we got going on. Uh, so we are actually going to my parents' house. I think we're going to get a few fireworks and just enough to make a bang, he says. And um, Joshua's friend from work is coming with us and bringing his little boy and then it's going to be my parents and my siblings and their spouses. They don't have kids yet, you guys know. Um, and then my, my babies. So it should be fun. Okay, sidebar. What are we going to do with you? Let's see. I think this might work. I don't really mind that it's sideways. It doesn't really affect that much, honestly. I kind of like that. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. And... Let's put some of this one here. Let's see what we got. Bicycle, but I think I'm just gonna put some of this on there and finish it up like that. Let's come and do that. I know it's not turned the same way, so if it's bothering you, I, pro I apologize, but it's not gonna bother me because I'm probably gonna put some stuff down there eventually. 
So I don't mind it. It's fine. And I think I'm just going to carry this washi right on over there and that'll be it. So let's see. Let's cover this guy up. Yes? No. Looks like junk. Alright. That's better. So tired, and I, the t more tired I am, sometimes the goofier I am. Ah, dang it! And I think we've reached that delirious stage, my friends. I think we have reached it. Okay, so there's that. I think. Hmm, I'm going to put this in here and butt this up against there because I don't really like that. And I actually like this yellow and pink together. It is cute to me, so I don't mind that. Uh. Junk. Okay. There's that. So yeah, I think we're gonna just go to my parents' house for a while and we'll probably play some games and stuff. It's always fun when we start playing Ben's stuff. Burns. Huh? Burn stuff? Yes. What are we gonna burn? Oh, you want? He wants a fire. I think he's like a pyro. I think he has issues. <laughs> issues with fire. Isn't that like a symptom for serial killers? That's really creepy. Did you just hear him? The homicidal triad. He says he possesses two out of the three characteristics for. That's really creepy. You had cruelty to animals? Not anymore. Oh my gosh. That's, let's not talk about that. That's horrible. That's... Yeah. This one time? In bank Yeah, no. Okay. On a lighter note, anything other than that. My husband tries to creep me out by... Trying to act like he has serial killer characteristics, and he really does not. Really, what's funny is that he is a complete softy, especially when it comes to not only his own children, but children in general. And tonight, there was this little girl. There are these little girls that were visiting their one of their their grandparents. They were visiting them, and they there was two girls and a little boy. And he was so um, swooning over that little girl. I could see it in his face. Isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> he was loving that little girl. And every time she gave that big old cheese that she had with her little chubby cheeks, she was three. And she was too stinking cute. Just a little diva. And he was swooning over her. He thought she was adorable, and I could see it all over his face, and it was funny. He doesn't even want to admit it, do you? No. No, but he really was. And it was cute. He really wants a girl, guys. So if I get pregnant again, y'all are going to have to all pray. Y'all are going to have to pray that we have a girl. He's trying to turn the TV on while I'm filming. Isn't that rude? That's rude. Do y'all think that's rude? Because I'm thinking way rude. And y'all know I'm trapped in here, so my tiny little crafting space that I have is in this little bitty desk that is um, in the living room. So anytime I film when he is home, which sometimes I don't have a choice because I'm behind, and when I film when he's home, he can't watch TV because it's too loud and you guys would hear it and it would be annoying. So, 
Yeah. He's probably getting irritated. Are you getting irritated? Hmm? No. I don't... Do, do you ever get irritated with me? <laughs> Are you lying? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow. Do you get irritated with me a lot? No. Are you lying? No. Oh, okay. Sound like Killian? No. He really doesn't. I could get away with murder with him. He's very sweet to me. Speaking of murder. What? Are you kidding? Are you trying to be weird? Are you trying to hurry me up to get me off the video because you're being a weirdo and so you're just trying to say stuff? Okay. I'm your um comic relief. Comic relief? Yes. But I am tired and delirious, so really I don't need any comic anything. But the people watching your videos might need some comic relief. From what? And hearing your goofy husband in the background might help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but talking about yourself as a serial killer and you keep bringing you up, that is not comic relief. That's creeps. You're not, you don't really have serial killer tendencies. Let's, that'd be creepy. Okay. So, I'm just going to add my little bullets and then I think I'm, we're going to be done. Let's see, I think I'm just going to use this pink because it's pretty. I think I'm going to use this pink because it matches one, two, I might use a little bit of all of them because I'm not going to have enough for you to use these colors for some reason. So tonight, you guys know, I teach a um, children's class on Sunday nights at church. And tonight, we took them out to the playground once our lesson was done. And ch Big Church, that's what we call it, Big Church. Big Church still wasn't out. And so I we took them to the playground. And this lovely gentleman... <laughs> this lovely gentleman sitting over here... He was wrestling, pretend wrestling with the boys, because almost all of them were boys. And he, one of the little boys, who is not very well behaved, but he threw a shoe at him. He threw his shoe at his face, and it almost hit him in the face. So he took the shoe and threw it. You know his parents watch your channel, right? I don't watch my planner videos. Anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway. I'll just say he's, he's a spirited young man. And he threw his shoe at Joshua's face. And Joshua took the shoe and chunked it. And when he did, he didn't mean to. But he chunked it all the way on the church roof. Yes, my friends, he did. And when he chunked it on the church roof, there was no ladder for him to climb up and get it. So guess who had to go on the roof? To get the shoe. That would be me. That would be moi. I had to. He had to cup his hands. And I climbed up on the porch banister. And then he took my feet in his hands. And pushed me up to the roof. And I climbed up on the roof. And went all the way up. While he was screaming at me. To, that I was doing it wrong the entire time. And it was making me so nervous. That he was just telling me. All these people were down there yelling at me and looking at me and staring at me, even from the parking lot, because I'm on the roof, so of course they can see me from everywhere. And so sorry, so sorry for that brief interruption. Uh, yeah, I told, I was saying that I was almost done, and then he was playing the Hallelujah song. Yeah. Anyways, um, I I know that I was saying I don't exactly know when we got cut off, but. Hopefully I finished the roof story. But anyway, I was saying that um, I know that I usually put stickers in here. But I really think that I'm just going to leave it alone because 
the paper is so darn pretty that I think I'm just going to leave it. And I might add a journaling card a little later, so next week's spread I might um, do a flip back and show you guys the absolute finished product. But I think I'm just going to call it done for now and let him watch TV. But... I do like how it turned out. I think this is so pretty. I just love this paper. It's really pretty. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. So happy planning.